Welcome back to Yumper and Swole's 31 Days of Horror, presented to you by the Tanglub Network. Today we got a wacky one for you, the 2002 comedy horror film, Bubba Hotep. The film is directed by Dom Corsellarelli, who is well known for his previous entry, Phantasm. It stars Bruce Campbell, who's also known for playing an iconic character from the Evil Dead series, Ash Williams, who's also known for his chainsaw and this famous line. The film is based on a novel of the same name by Joe Lansdale. It follows Elvis played by Bruce Campbell in an alternate universe. Elvis has become tired of fame and switched places with an impersonator. So the real Elvis didn't die, it was an impersonator named Sebastian Hoff. Unfortunately for the real Elvis, a propane explosion destroyed documentation which was the only proof that he has that he shows he was the real Elvis. And because of this, he wasn't able to return to his old life. He ends up actually performing as an Elvis impersonator and gets injured by falling off the stage during a performance and ends up in a coma. After this, we fast forward and he's living in a nursing home where he meets a bunch of strange characters, including one man who claims to be JFK, played by Ozzie Davis. Jack, uh, no friends, but... President Kennedy was a white man. That's how clever they are. They dyed me this color all over. The film never really says if the guy is JFK or not. I just tend to think it's more hilarious to think that he's crazy. On top of all this, a mummy's corpse was stolen by thieves and it comes back to life and starts killing the residents of the nursing home by um, sucking their souls out of their buttholes. What in the ass? The mummy's outfit always cracked me up because he's dressed as a cowboy. The movie is all out comedy as it has Elvis and JFK in their walker and electric wheelchair versus a mummy of the undead. How epic is that? The movie is a tongue in cheek film on getting old and the horror genre itself. It's very enjoyable and many people agree as it has developed a cult following. Which is crazy because the movie was only released in 32 theaters during its theatrical run. Bubba even ends up in the comics with Ash freaking Williams. Well, hopefully this piqued your interest to watch it. And with that, thanks for watching. Check out the Tank Love website for more 31 Days of Horror, blogs, and podcasts. And we'll catch you in the next one.